How do these things come to pass? No? No? Okay. What China views is defined as the treatment of a child in any way. About one million reports are on child abuse each year. And about 2,000 of these reports, children die each year. In my speech, I'm going to talk to you guys about the major forms of child abuse, which is physical abuse and neglect. I'm going to talk to you guys about the signs and symptoms of neglect and physical abuse and the prevention of physical abuse and neglect. There are about 899,000 reports on physical abuse and neglect alone. Physical abuse is defined as a non-accidental <coughs> trauma or physical injury caused by beating a child. I'm going to tell you guys a story about a little girl named Kelsey Briggs. Kelsey Briggs lived with her mother and her stepfather. Her abuse started in January of 2005 by the hands of her stepfather, Michael Lee Porter. In January of 15 of 2005, her mother took her to an emergency room for a broken power bomb. The DCF realized signs of um, abuse and to put her out of her parents' home and put her into state custody. After a few court trials, Kelsey Briggs, they put her back into Kelsey Briggs' mother's home in her stepfather's house. Michael Lee Porter continued to abuse her um, causing her to break her collarbone, both her legs, and have bruises on her face and body. She died on October 11, 2005, by blunt force trauma to the dominant. Neglect is defined as failure of caretakers to provide an emotional and physical care for a child. 62% of 899,000 kids are neglected. Um, neglect is kind of defined as like, Either a parent don't pay much attention to the child, or they don't feed them, or lock them in a room, and stuff like that. Um, I got this from Child Abuse Source, source Book. The signs and symptoms of child abuse for physical is bruises on the face and body, is scared of adults, frightened of parents, and afraid to go home. When people, the little kids who are abused are scared of adults, they're afraid for adults to touch them because they think that their parents, they're going to hit them just like their parents did. Also, they are frightened of their parents. Just the sight of their parents can make them vomit, cry, have throw a tantrum, are afraid to go home. When, child, when it's time for a child to go home, they will start crying because they know what's going to, going to happen when they get home. For the parents, a sign of the parents that's abusing their child is calling the child evil, calling them harsh names, using harsh physical discipline, beating them in public, neglect. A son's neglect is always absent from school. A parent doesn't really care about a child's education, therefore they will leave the child out of school. Um, a child can also beg for another good neglect. A child begs for still food. When parents do not feed their child, they try to go home and try to, like, try to, sorry, try to um, steal food from other people or try to steal money from other people just to get the food. Horrible body odor. Many parents do not bathe their children or do not tell their children to take showers or that. Emaciated body. When ch children are not fed, their body starts to get thinner and thinner and they're underweight and you can see ribs and bones. Parents. A sign that a parent is abusing their child. Child is when they are depressed. So when parents are under depressed, they don't really care for the child, they only care for themselves. Prevention. The child abuse hotline is a great prevention. If you suspect that a child is being abused, call the child abuse hotline at 1 800 for a child. Even if you don't have proof that the child is being abused, the people behind the phone will go and check out the scene where the child you think is going to be abused at. Also, parent aid programs. Parent aid programs are helpful for the proper care of a child. They will teach um, discipline by non-physical contact, a timeout, <clears throat> taking away things that our children love. Also, a, a parent aid program will help kids to get together and family and kids to get together and to do close relationship. Now you learn. You learn the dangers of child abuse and neglect, the signs and symptoms, and how to identify child abuse and neglect, and ways to prevent child abuse and neglect. Thank you.